welcome in Yusuf Gariani, Operations Associate, IHT Wealth Management. Nice to see you, Yusuf. You know, people always love dividend stocks. Right to my dad, who was born in the 1930s, he always said, get stocks with dividends. Are people still doing mm -hmm. that? I think the younger generation is doing it less and less, but uh, I think it speaks to the bigger picture, which is the search for income. Um, right now, if I think investors across the board, uh, especially older investors, they're looking for income and you can't get it in bonds anymore. So more and more people are looking for dividends. They're looking for places to try to get some sort of yield to add to their portfolios and to try to just drip in and make some money and maybe pull some of that, some of that capital out without hurting their principal. So it hasn't gone away, but it's definitely less popular than it was before. Now everybody's just looking for things. In, yeah, in tech, and right? also because, yeah, also because the dividend paying sectors, real estate mm -hmm. and energy, which were two fantastic sectors, um, just really haven't performed. So yes, you're getting the dividend, but if your stock is doing nothing or worse dropping, then, mm -hmm. you know, is it worth it, right? Right, yeah. It, People used to go to these sectors kind of with hard assets because they were considered safer. Uh, you would go and you'd go buy real estate, go buy energy, MLP, stuff with hard assets backing it up that should provide you know some backstop or the principal value of, of this company while it kicked off cash flows for you. That's no longer the case, right? Uh, real estate is something I think everyone's a little hesitant on right now as we're trying to figure out if we're going to be going back to offices, if people can pay their rents, people can pay their mortgages. And obviously, we don't need to talk too much for people to know that energy has been volatile, that oil has been volatile. So I think uh, those areas just aren't as safe as they used to be. And it's really leaving some people wondering where they should go. Yeah, so I see, uh, you know, healthcare, telecom, utilities, tech. Do you like all of those? Should we have a diversified portfolio with a little in each of those? I think. When it comes to dividends and trying to find income, you definitely want to spread things around a little bit because the biggest the biggest negative impact for you is, you know, when when the principal that you put in expecting to get some sort of stable cash flow out when that principal disappears. So it's more about avoiding the blowups and is about finding some sort of home run that delivers three point five instead of three point two or two point eight in terms of uh, two point eight percent in terms of returns. So with that said, yeah, I think places like healthcare are a great place to look. Lots of stable cash flow businesses. It's your Johnson and Johnsons, your Bristol Myers, Advies, etc. Um, these companies have a lot of cash flow, and they can kick it off, and they can give it back to you in the way of dividends. And uh, I think there are a lot of other sectors with, with similar stories, but you're looking for stable cash flows. I mean, you must you must have a mix, right? I mean, there are there are the stable investments, and then there are those like wild child investments. Do you mm -hmm. have a mix? Are you suggesting a mix or because I see some of your picks here. Great, great companies, right? Johnson & Johnson, right. AbV, Bristol Myers, Texas Instruments. I mean, these should be your steady eddies, right? And what kind of dividends are they paying out? Yeah, so they are kind of steady eddies. And, and that's what I think you're looking for when you're looking for a dividend portfolio. Now, that said, anybody who's investing in dividends right now really should be aware that Things are moving fast. You can lose two, three percent, gain two, three percent in a day. We're seeing indexes gain two, three percent in a day, lose two, three percent in a day. So if you're going in buying dividends, expecting, hey, look, I'm going to get somewhere between three percent, four percent, two and a half percent on the year, you've really got to be willing to stomach some volatility and, and and know that you're holding for the long term and the companies that you're in are they're cash flow positive and they're going to be there not just now but in five years, ten years, fifteen years. You got to be looking for that stability. Right. So you're saying these are the goodies. These are the ones to go for for the long term. You know, I noticed uh, it, within your stock picks, you have some of these telecom names like AT&T and Verizon mm -hmm. that, you know, now um, it's an exciting time because we're approaching 5G. And, yeah. you know, ultimately, I guess they're all going to sort of benefit. You also have Cisco, Texas Instruments, Intel. Tell me about some of these names of all the names that you mm -hmm. gave us, some of the healthcare names and the telecom and tech um, would you do an equal amount in these or would you lean more towards some over others? Uh, I'd say you spread it around, but you definitely want to have some of the higher yielders in your telecoms in there. Um, they do just yield more. And, and let's be realistic. They're not going anywhere anytime soon. It's oligopolistic pricing. We've got two, three players in the space. And, and let's, be, let's be real. It might not be great for the consumer, but for an investor, 
oligopolies are fantastic. It's it's steady pricing, and that kind of pricing allows them to you know allocate money towards towards new capex, towards five G. And at the same time, they've got enough cash flow that they can sit around and kick off a dividend every single quarter without you having to stress about it too much. And so you know, yeah. spread it around, but definitely throw some of those telcos or other monopoly oligopoly style plays into your portfolio. Yeah, and I see Verizon working with AI machine learning for 5G development, working with Cellwise. I mean, this is exciting stuff going forward. Yusuf Gariani, great to see you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Operations Associate, IHT Wealth Management. Thanks, Yusuf.